in the third century, uh, things got worse and worse. The 200s AD were bad for Roman, bad for the church, bad for everybody because the Romans, the Roman Republic and Empire is starting to slide down. And now there's an emergency situation. We had a 50 year period in which there were 22 emperors in 50 years. The average <laughs> tenure was two and a half years. Uh, a, a terrible time of civil war, uh, of murder at the summit. One Caesar being murdered by the Praetorian Guard and they didn't like him and the Praetorian Guard does it again to the next Caesar. It's just a terrible time until somebody says, aha, uh -huh, pagan priests. The Christians are responsible. And for that reason, they now decided under Emperor Decius, he was one of those two-year emperors, and thank God it was only two years. He decided in the first absolutely systematic persecution of the church across the Mediterranean world, from country to country, from province to province, city by city, ward by ward, block by block. The, the emperor's goon squad would come along and knock at the door. Could I see your certificate? What do you mean certificate? Well, certificate that you have sacrificed to the spirit of the emperor. And if you had it, good. They'd bless you and you'd go, they'd go to the next house. You didn't have a certificate? Not a problem. They'd bring a bust of the Emperor Decius, put it on a table, light some candles in front of it, and give you some incense. Throw the incense on that flame, and we'll write you out a certificate. Then you go to the next house. But if you said, I won't do it, then they would kill the men instantly and sell the women and children into slavery. It was horrible business. Uh, this would have been, if Decius had lived, 20 years as emperor, I don't know what would happen in the Christian church uh, without God's intervention, because it was that bad. And then we have the problem of those Christians who had not confessed Christ, did not want to get back on the church. And that was a real problem for the early church, what to do. And the early church reacted, I think, as it would today. You had more flexible people saying, well, if they're truly sorry for what they've done, we'll give them a period of probation and then we can welcome them back into the church. But then you'd have the super conservatives saying, oh no, Jesus said, whoever denies me before men, I'll deny him before my father who is in heaven. And so they did not relent. Fortunately, the flexible people won and they were then allowed back in the church. Mm -hmm.